Well, hello. We had such a good old time last week doing a card reading that I'm going to do one again. This is the 222 card reading. It is the second month of the year on the 22nd day. For me, twos mean partnership, but um, they can, you know, mean a variety of different things depending upon uh, how you receive that message, that message that you're receiving from the creator of what twos mean for you. So to preface this card reading, I am speaking to the collective energy. So if this card reading feels like it's, you know, for you, that's great. If it doesn't, you know, if it does not feel like it speaks to your current situation, that's okay. If, however, this is your face while you're watching this, then that there is what we call resistance, and you're probably triggered. It's resistance to hearing and accepting the truth. So you're definitely going to want to look into why you're feeling that way, or at the very least, why on earth you're making that face. Just a little advice for you. Anyway, I'm going to pull uh, three cards for the Divine Feminine and three cards for the Divine Masculine. And we're going to start with the Divine Feminine first. So, first card is this. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits, as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. So this card is about unconditional love and giving unconditional love. Because that's how you were created, is to, to give love to what we are. And you're being asked to give of yourself, not in a way that feels bad to you, or that crosses a line, or that drains you, or that takes from you. But by giving out of the goodness of your heart, because it feels good. You know, it's training you to give love unconditionally. Not just giving and then sticking your hand out for what you're going to get in return. Giving is receiving because when you give and it feels really good that's your reward that joy you feel is your reward that's love you're getting back in return that good feeling is the prize that good feeling is the love you gave returning to you anytime you give you receive in most cases you always, always receive back more than you gave. However, if it's your intention to give only to get something in return, that's giving with an expectation. And you will always be disappointed if that's your intention for giving. You don't give to get something. You give because it feels good. Because... You want to love. The reason you give is to love. Good. So. This is the first Divine Masculine card. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Good. So, the what this means is the 
the divine masculine is really learning what relationships are. Um, could be romantic, could be platonic, could be uh, family, could be, you know, uh, work relationships, whatever it is. You know, either way, they are understanding what it means to have healthy, loving relationships. You know, not just relationships where someone wants something from them or is trying to get something from them. Uh, this is something that I really had to work on in my journey uh, in the beginning. When when my twin flame and I broke up, it, it caused me to really look at each relationship in my life and determine if it was real, if there was really love there or not. And for me, it was a lot to trust that I was loved. The divine masculines are understanding what it means to be loved for who they are and not what they can give. And these cards, the first two cards, go hand in hand with each other. For the divine feminine, you're learning that it's not all about you 24 seven. You know, you can give also without having expectations that you're going to get something in return. You know, within reason, right? Like you're giving within reason, giving your love within reason. And that could feel really good. Union is an equal partnership. Love is reasonable, so be reasonable. And for the Divine Masculine, they're scoping out if they can really trust that they can be loved for who they are. You know, can they, can they really open up? Can they uh, be safe and protected in doing that, in opening themselves up? So both the feminine and masculine are working at two sides of the same thing here. Good. This is the second card, Divine Feminine, and it's choices. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the, the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and construct, constructively to your outside world. So, um, you know, this is right in, a line, in line with the first card for Divine Feminine. And this is about your choices and taking responsibility for your life. You know, the choices you're making within yourself are creating your outside world. And that means if you're choosing to blame and feel angry or feel any kind of bad shit toward your twin, instead of healing your upsets, then you're creating a non-friendly environment. Does anyone want to walk into a non-friendly environment? So why would your twin flame want to? You have to create that peaceful environment within yourself. And that doesn't happen by just doing nothing. You do that by choosing to heal each upset that comes up. Right? And the card for Divine Masculine, number two. Mother's love. So, mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this is this special bond of love can never be broken. And let's look. The divine masculine is not an animal. I I mean I I'm not an animal. He, the divine masculine wants to be nurtured just like anyone else wants to be loved. So the DM is going wherever the love is, wherever they can find it. And they are testing out everywhere they think that love would be. And if the D if the divine feminine isn't creating that place of love within them, then the DM will search around elsewhere until their divine feminine does. Or vice versa, you know, if if you're on the other side of this journey, you're divine masculine and you're on the other side of this journey, um, 
you have to create that space within you as well. Uh, or else your divine feminine will search until you do. It will keep searching for love, open doors of love. And they can feel whether or not that's the case, if you're doing that or not. This is an inner feeling journey. That's why manipulation or pretending that you are healed isn't going to fool anyone. You're not fooling your twin flame by uh, proclaiming that you're healed when you clearly aren't. If you're creating a safe, loving space within yourself, they will feel that and be drawn to you, you know, through that process. If you aren't creating a safe, loving space within yourself, then they are mirroring that to you by trying to find it somewhere else or with someone else. Um, that's as, about as simply as I can put that. Moving on. Third card for the feminine is you are not alone. And we are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. Yeah, I feel this with a lot of people, not just uh, divine feminines, but also, also divine masculines. You think you're alone through this journey. You're never alone, ever, in your life. You're one with your creator, and you're one with your twin flame. Everywhere you go, and everything you do, they are with you. Whether you choose to realize that or not, your lesson is to come to that level of knowing that this is not you versus the rest of the world or you versus your twin flame or, you know, this is you, your creator, and your twin flame versus ego versus healing yourself healing your upsets and ego is an illusion so it's not even like a fair battle but you know your you your creator and your twin flame are superpowers so it doesn't really have much of an effect you know uh, ego doesn't have much of an effect against a uh, superpower ego is an illusion but uh, you must see that illusion for what it is. And an, an, an illusion, and in order to realize, you know, your true power, you have to work through your upsets and come to that place of knowing, come to that place of clarity. And here is the DM card. Cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much-needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. You're approaching it from a masculine angle, and you're approaching it from a feminine angle. Uh, it wouldn't make sense for you both to be working on the same thing you know there's a lot to work through so uh it's covering more ground you know instead of looking outside at what the what the other is doing and judging that uh best you're best served by you know going within yourself and um you know doing what comes up within you, you know, handling, handling your journey from within yourself, not really worrying about um, what someone else is doing. So you do your part, they do theirs. If you're watching this video, then doing the inner work uh, will rapidly accelerate the journey for both of you. If you can move through core wounds at a rapid pace, that will increase the pace at which your twin works through their part of this. 
and the knowledge and learning you obtain from working through your challenges will be received by them also. You know, so it's it's a win-win situation for your union. And working with me will really help you understand things from a divine masculine perspective. Uh, so you can approach this journey in a different way than what you have been experiencing. Uh, so go to asoneguidance.com or go down below to the description box and click on the links uh, and allow me to help you. And I will see you all next time for another card reading, possibly. We shall see.